what is going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial today we're going to be looking at how we can use the shimmering animation that we see here on this button so if you're not familiar uh, folks use this animation to also indicate loading so if you've ever opened up like the instagram app or youtube or facebook you'll see that there's an outline of the posts that are going to load in and they show this left to right animation so um, what's cool is this shimmer thing was made by Facebook originally, and it's been rewritten in Swift and several other languages and platforms and Android and basically all over the place. So we're going to be, of course, using Swift to integrate it. Um, that said, make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, get Xcode ready, get excited, and let's get into it. So let's get started by creating a new project. We'll stick with a single view application. And we're going to call this project My Shimmer. Save it on our desktop. And let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is actually bring in the framework that lets us uh, do the shimmer animation. And we're going to use CocoaPods to bring it in. So let's open up our terminal, cd into our project, do a pod init. And if you're not familiar with CocoaPods, I've got an earlier video on it, or of course you're welcome to follow along, so long as you have CocoaPods installed. Uh, but let's do an open pod file. And now we wanna bring in the pod for uh, this framework, and it's called Shimmer Swift. Let's lowercase that P, close text edit, and let's do a pod install. And we should see some green success messages. The one we care about is this one, showing us that Shimmer Swift was in fact installed. We can hit Command K to clear the text in here. On Xcode, we can hit Command W to close that window because we want to open up the workspace now. So let's open up myshimmer.xc workspace. So let's uh, select our simulator up here. Make sure that everything compiles and runs when we hit Command R. You should see an empty app pop up here, like so. And now we can actually start writing the code to see our Shimmer animation. So let me expand Xcode a little bit to give ourselves some more room to work. And we'll jump right into it. So we want to first go to our view controller. So let's open up our project structure here go to our view controller and up here let's start by importing the framework which is called shimmer swift as you just saw so the notion of adding a shimmer is fairly straightforward uh, the way that the framework is built is shimmer view or shimmer swift it gives us a shimmer view and we can put anything into that shimmer view as a content view and we can just basically say whatever is in here start shimmering so let's actually do that with a really simple example. So we're gonna say, let my view is a UI view. Let's give this a background color. And now let's create a shimmer view. So let's say, let shimmer view is a shimmer ing view, shimmering view. And we wanna create this with a frame. Notice we didn't add this to our view controller's uh, view as a sub view, and we didn't even give it a frame because um, we're going to add this as our content view for the shimmer view. So for this frame, we're going to say CG rect with an XY within height. So for X, let's say 200. Y will say, I don't know, 300. Width is 200. Height will be, let's say, 100. And now let's say view add sub view shimmer view. Shimmer view dot content view is my view. And last but not least, the most important thing, shimmer view is shimmering is true. And this is how we actually control if we're seeing the shimmer animation. So let's hit command R to build and run. And we should see a red view and we have our shimmer animation on it going from left to right like so so let's actually now take a more real world example um, for a button that might have a shimmering animation and let's also look at a few ways we can customize the actual animation so instead of this my view 
we're going to now create a button. And our button is uh, going to have a background color of link, which is a blue. We'll also give this a title color of white. And let's give this a title itself. So set title. And let's say this button says continue for normal. And the other thing I like to do is for buttons that have this shimmer animation, I like to make the uh, font a little bold. So let's say system font. The value is, let's say, 22. And weight is semi bold. Um, it just makes our button look a little nicer. Uh, so now we want to update the content view as button because that my view doesn't exist anymore. And let's change the frame to make it something more sensible. So we'll say 30. Y, let's keep it as that. The width will make view.frame.size.width minus 60. So 30 on each side. And a height, let's make this 60. And that said, let's take Command R to see what this button looks like. So cool, we have this blue button, we have our title on it, and then we have this shimmer animation going from left to right. So some things we can customize are the direction of the, simmer, the shimmer, the uh, speed in which it's going across, uh, the opacity. So to do all that stuff, we can actually do it just down here. We can do things like shimmer, uh, speed, and I believe default is 230, uh, which is a very strange number for them to pick as a default. So we're going to stick with 100. Um, we can also do a shimmer opacity. We can do shimmer direction. Um, let's do left. And sometimes I've noticed the shimmer direction actually uh, doesn't always apply. And maybe, I, maybe I've done it incorrectly in the past, but make sure you set the direction before you start shimmering. Um, I'm going to go crazy by saying shimmering so many times, but let's say Command R to see what that looks like. So you can notice that we have our shimmer, but it's slow and it's also very, very opaque, the opacity of the content view itself. So let's actually get rid of this. Hit Command R. See that again. So we can see the shimmer is still going left to right. Um, it's slower, which I personally like. I think this is a bit of a personal uh, design preference. Um, but that's basically how you would set up a shimmer. So the other thing I'll mention here, which is pretty important, is a big application of the shimmering animation is for a loading state. So I'm sure you've seen when you open up the YouTube app on your phone or the Facebook app, or I think Instagram does this as well, they have a table view and basically where the content is going to show up. So for like posts, for example, on Instagram or a YouTube video, they have a uh, UI view with a light gray color and they shimmer as if things are loading, uh, which of course they are. So it's a lot nicer um, in terms of a visual user interface than having just a spinner in the middle. It's a little more intricate to set up, of course, because you need to set up all those views and uh, have it be shimmering. Uh, but yeah, that's how you can basically use the shimmer uh, view framework that Facebook has created in Swift. And of course, if you're working in Objective-C, it's definitely available for that too. So that said, if you haven't smashed that like button already, make sure you smash it so we can get a shimmer on that too. Subscribe if you're new. Comment if you have any questions. I always love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.